be safe now? I don't think that will ever happen. Keep going. Come on. There's got to be some stairs around here. Ooh, what's this? Oh no. Bad idea. <laughs> Regret. Jeez. Maybe this is what scared everyone off. Sometimes we get to interact with something and we, we simply are looking at it. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Well, we found the rats. So what is this telling us? Like, are these recently used? That must be what it's trying to say. They all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Right. Oh, it's possible. Marker hold two out of bounds. Let me guess where we are. Sweet. Sweet. It's sometimes hard to tell what we can look at and what we can't. Oh boy. What the f What the F? That was definitely... There was definitely something in there. Eileen Reed. Dear I Isles? I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. Can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been all right, because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board, and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now. The war is over. I bet they'll edit this out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. They usually... Or that usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon, Robert. Jesus, what's next? Like, there was definitely something in that one, right? Definitely. I'm not going crazy. You think Conrad's made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well, then, sure. I think Conrad's made it. <laughs> oh, great. I mean, if she doesn't want to hear what we actually think. What is this place? It's the engine room. Well, is there anything we can use down here? No, this is just an old piece of junk. The Duke has a newer engine. We're just gonna have to get the cat back. What am I looking at here? 
Oh, there we go. Like a diary of sorts? Or a log? I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold 1. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. Next day, I responded to a complaint that some electronics equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solder... To the solders, which has helped the equipment sorting out. Or stop the equipment so shorting out. <laughs> English. And should slow down the growth. Conducted electrical a storm? Jesus. We've got enough problems without an electrical storm. Conducted a thorough weekly engine room inspection of fuel oil and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I've reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there's any loss of pressure. The ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing, traveling through hoisting cables aloft deck, which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I've received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin... Oh. We're flipping back. It's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to work through the night to make a full damage assessment. Okay, I don't think we have anything else. You think Brad is still on the Duke? Great question. It's driving me crazy not knowing what's going on with him. I hope he's okay. We have to just stay positive. The hell is this? Oh, it's a little like rat skull. Huh. Okay. Holy shit! Whoa! Okay. Certain the crack, dude. Whew. Keep it together. The guy says not everything is as it seems. Right? So we just gotta be cool. Be cool. Just be cool. Whoa. Okay, another log. Skippers KO'd the booze from the whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet this ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed. But Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as church ever since. I got talking with a feller who had helped load up the ship. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. But he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you get if you were any old grunt. Got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? And they were like, uh... From the beginning, they were spaced out very strangely and had, you know, only four, I think, in that giant area. Booze was a bum loss, Perez said, when he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on six to check it out. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can give me, even help me to get in and take a look. We're all set. Reckons he can sneak me in. We're going to take a look tonight. Secret found. It's all off. The guy who said he was going to help me get in the hold has been signed off sick. Doc Finley thinks it's some kind of flake, which might be true, but Miller says it's something else. Something weird about this place. Miller's kind of a twitcher. Wouldn't want to be caught in a pinch with him, that's for sure. Perez said that the boys made some more hooch. Too bummed out to try and sneak some. But what else is there to do? News. New batch is worse than the last one. Never listening to any damn fool idea from Perez ever again. Last night I was on duty with Wallowich, and goddamn if it didn't creep me out. He got spooked and started babbling about some sergeant called Jones that went MIA in the jungle. Reckon that Jones and his crew were the ones in the boxes traveling home just like us saps. Okay. Sergeant called Jones went MIA in the jungle. I sneaked to look at Jesus. There it was, just like the guy in the port had said. All laid out real nice, old glory over each one. If it's Jones in there, they've done him proud. Good old Uncle Sam wouldn't leave any of us out there. 
you'd make sure we all come home. There's no ending there. We can't flip any more pages. Okay, let's take a look at some of these things. Jones and his crew are in the caskets on board the ship. The logbook. For the storm. See, like, some of these are all over the place, so maybe they're not all located in the same spots. It does look like some of them have more significance than others. Oh, that's a lot of people who are suspiciously nowhere to be found. I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. What do we have here? Can we see that again? So that's one of them smashing his face. And is that the uh, the guy who took off in the boat behind her? Kind of looks like it. Turn off the light, bro. Shh. Everyone quiet. There it is. So tempting. It's the distributor cap from the Duke. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Our son. Yeah, I'll leave it there. I'm gonna go get it. Hmm. All right. Right. Grab it then, hurry. Well, I don't need you barking orders, big guy. <sighs> okay. Keep an eye out. <sighs> Holy crap. Holy crap, what? God. Someone's coming. Come here. Whoa, that's so ballsy. de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Well, that ain't good. We're gonna follow them. Don't let them out of your sight. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. I got this. Two eighteen AM.
Another internal memo. It's with the makeshift chapel. Oh, good God. Why do I need to see this now? Area 7C has been converted to a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent, respectful, and passing near Section 7C. Probably set up because of all the weird stuff going on and they're like... Gonna cleanse <laughs> of exorcisms. What was that? You hear that? What? I don't hear it. if there's anything back there. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? What are you talking about? Stones? Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Please, relax. Just messing around. Racing. Jesus. Okay. God. Alex, what is it? Looks like. Ugh. See for yourself. Human Ugh. parts. What the? It's like intestines or something. Altruistic, truthful, cunning, relaxed, eager. Raise hey! Oh. According well. to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Yep. I don't see anything on there that would stand out. Like a one day is just cereal. Oh, yeah. Let's take this. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Yeah, we might need it. Uh. Uh. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. So what's that bearing? Oh, finding a, finding a knife. Okay. So she's having some deja vu of being in here, I guess. There's this little, uh, this, like, smoke that's coming up off the ground. We saw that around the caskets at the beginning, too. All right, now what is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Rats. We haven't been at sea long, and I'm sick of the damn food already. That muck we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best with what we got, I'm sure, man. But man, I'd kill for something fresh. First thing I'm doing when we get home is having me a tall glass of cold milk. Every one of the U.S. papers was talking about that massacre in Philly. It's crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world trying to keep our country safe. 
There's people killing each other in the streets back home. Sure could use a beer after reading about home, but the captain has issued a ban on booze. Guess I'll be counting sheep tonight. Some of the guys had a little wrestling competition in one of the cargo holds today. I did okay, but Wagner eventually knocked me out of it. I joked that he should be disqualified on account of his size, but no dice. It'd take a whole crowd of people to pin him down. He certainly ain't eating the same as the rest of us, that's for sure. I'm sure the cargo we have in the hold was something to do with a squad that went missing. Their leader, Jones, heard a legend about a room full of ancient solid gold statues from a Manchurian child emperor. They were said to be cursed, but that sounds like a load of baloney. <laughs> I don't know if they found them, but they never did return from their mission. Maybe they're returning now. that doing the stabbing somebody in like a yellow shirt looks like a woman uh oh and it is a knife which we've just recently picked up so Wait. she had long sleeves so I don't think it's right? her and the other girl didn't have long sleeves Holy shit. What? what? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? What? I mean, did you hear anything? I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. I'm just going to be cool. Yeah, I'm good with leaving too. See ya. What do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Oh, Gross here it is. and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? Yeah, it is crappy. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. You gotta get out of here too sweet. Okay, so can we just get the fuck <laughs> out then? Too sweet. I don't know if this is just like a, is a fog or what. This one doesn't have a covering anymore. Yikes. Ooh, oh, multiple. Human? I mean, was it ever human? Or are they fused together or something? with this place. Okay, leave. Now. Leave, leave, leave! <laughs> okay, that's enough with the bone buddies. What the frick? Hey. Ryan Carter. What's the name on this guy? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Okay, so these are all... So, casket nameplate, not related to the open casket, but kind of through these connections. It's really cool how things are starting to uh, form. We're starting to make, like, longer connections. What they mean, who knows, but... Look at this one. Like, for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Small casket. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Uh, yeah, good point. Why would they be chained and locked? Is that the way we want to be going? What's the matter? Ooh. Shh. 
Oh, look who it is! Shit! What is it? What the look. fuck? Not Seriously? cool. Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? What the f Can we just get out of yeah, here? Yeah, okay. So she's seeing things, we're seeing things. <laughs> oh. Alright, that was good. Yeah. The worst part is that <laughs> even if we survive this, we still have to survive those three dudes that boarded the boat. Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. God, it's tight in here. What the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Whoa. See, we're not even... Why so spick and span? We're totally experiencing two different things. Right? Like, she thinks we've seen all this before, and we haven't seen any of it. As far as I can tell. Any medicine we find in here is gonna be old. Way out of date. Why do you want medicine suddenly? I'm just trying to be helpful. <laughs> yeah, why right. do we okay. want medicine? Yeah. Super helpful. What's this? Aspirin. They got a lot of problems, but a headache ain't one. Oh, that better not be a veiled reference to me, mister. <laughs> Yee. We're a little sensitive. Ooh. Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Yeah, okay. Oh, why? What the fuck? Don't touch it. Why, why, why touch are we it? touching it? Dude. Some type of mask, like a, uh, like scuba gear. Oh, or, or it's uh, ventilation while well, he's getting operated on. Never mind. <laughs> great scuba gear. What is this? What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. Yeah, they all you do. You can't see that. Don't move, dude. I swear. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. Date of birth 0707-18. Get me out of here. Okay, then. 